Hey, good morning, dear students. Today I am going to present to you our new topic that is adjectives. Though we have already done uh, adjectives uh, with respect to quantitative and qualitative, and now is the third category that is possessive adjectives. Okay, so as I've always mentioned, that adjectives are the words that describe a noun, and the, the most peculiar hint of uh, you know finding or determining an adjective is that it is uh, uh, almost 99% of the times is uh, uh, followed by a noun. An adjective is always followed by a noun, okay? So here in the possessive adjectives, we are looking for those nouns which can describe the belongingness, okay? So if it is a ball, so I uh, have to use a word which can describe the belongingness of a ball, that is, whose ball is this, okay? So the words that come under possessive adjectives would be these words. So please have a look at it. When we talk about the pronouns, are the things belonging to I will turn my. So I am Bhavna. This is my laptop, okay? You are, uh, you are a student. This is your notebook. Okay, he is a businessman. This is his cabin. She is a social worker. It is her job and it is a dog. This is its leash. Okay, we are member of this community. community. This is our community and they are the teachers. It is their class. This is how we are using possessive adjectives and examples are almost given over here. I like my sandwich, you like your salad, so on and so forth. Okay, so I guess that's a quick uh, thing to catch up with. Uh, then um, you have to compare the subject and pronoun so that no difficulty or no confusion should be there. So I is a subject, that means a doer of any action. So I do an action. What action am I doing? That is I play tennis, okay? Then what is my belonging? What is the belongingness? What, the, what are the things that belongs to me? So this is my racket, okay? Similarly, you're very good at singing. What is your favorite song? He is from Paris, Mark is his name. She drives a car to work. Her car is dark gray. It's a snake. Its main color is brown. We like, we like our house a lot. Our house is big and has a pool. They run every morning. Uh, their day starts with a long run. So this is how we have to use and make sure you are aware of this common mistakes. That is, uh, Linda has a new car. Okay. Uh, then people make mistake by saying that his car has two doors. So always remember that the, if, if anything or a person belongs to a female, okay, a girl or a woman, then the belongingness word would be her. So uh, Linda has a brother, okay? Her brother's name is, Linda has a, you know, uh, has a friend, okay? His name is Chan, okay? Similarly, if we talk about, say, Chan, so Chan has a sister. His sister has two notebooks. So this is how we have to bring out the difference, okay? And rest is, do you know me uh, book? That would be incorrect. So do you know where my book is? And simply... This is my book and that is your book. That, not, not that is your, that is your book. Okay, so this is a common mistake that people make. So now this is an exercise uh, for you people. Uh, it's quite easy one. So I'll give you two minutes uh, in this video to just complete this exercise. Okay, and then submit me in the classroom. So your two minutes starts now. You can take your time.
And here we go. I guess one minute is enough for this activity. So we'll move towards the second part now. And that is uh, about filling up the dialogues, okay? This would also take you a minute, I guess. So 10 uh, blanks, information gap, and that please fill it up. Okay, time's up. So I guess your job is done. So I'll see you in my class. Till then, bye-bye. Thank you so much.